Hey guys, it's Diogenes Vlogs, and about a week ago, I made a video about my physics teacher, Phil, and that video did pretty good, and because you guys liked it so much, I decided that I'm going to be making another video about him, and, uh, well, I'd say this one's even crazier than the last one. In this, we're going to be getting some examples of his, uh, home life, some actual footage of him, and even a rap from him. So, let's get into this. Now, if you haven't seen the previous video, you don't need to. But, I'll just give the gist that Phil smoked a lot of pot, alright? He may or may not have been high during my classes, but I do know for sure that he smoked a lot of pot. And how do I know this exactly? Well, I have a few anecdotes from Phil's life here that I'm going to be telling you. The first one is going to be a story of him when he was younger, in one of his escapades at another job. Now, let me describe it the way he says it. So, uh, I was working at a, uh, a job at a restaurant, and you know, at, at this time, you know, I really, I, di I didn't want to, I didn't want to wash the pans. So I, I went up to my boss and I said that I can't do it because of my, you know, my religion, you know, we you know, when things die, things turn into vapor in my religion. And so it's like, I can't, I can't use vapor because it goes against my religion. And he basically was making this up. According to him, well, you know, everything was all kind of hippy dippy at the time. So, you know, my boss thought it was real. And so basically, Phil here is technically the leader of his own religion. So if you want to join the religion of vaporology, you got to thank Phil, the stoned science teacher. Another very blatant example of him definitely smoking a lot of pot was during his job at McDonald's. Let me describe it the way he says it. You know, I used to work at McDonald's when I was younger. But, you know, they had this thing where you could get a free meal. And, and they would only give me one meal. So, you know, I, I ended up getting fired because, you know, I, I had the munchies in the middle of work and I ended up eating everything and you, you were only supposed to have one free meal. And that was how I got fired from McDonald's. Sometimes he raised his voice. So, yeah, uh, I guess that one just kind of gives it out loud. Now that we uh, know about Phil's, uh, you know, substance abuse, we can talk about what it did to his uh, personal life. Now, despite Phil's constant smoking of marijuana and the fact that he is just a science teacher, this guy was pretty pimped the fuck out. I mean, he had a goddamn pimp mobile as his car. I can't, I don't actually know what car he had, but according to many people, it was quote unquote a pimp mobile. So you can just imagine that this is Phil's car. You know, smoking weed every day will do this to you. I never knew. Now, in his personal possession, he also owned a hot tub. Now, how do we know this? Well, apparently, in the middle of class, third trimester, it was fifth period, school was about to end, and, you know, I guess Phil had some pretty intense plans for after school. Now, as students, we were all sitting around working in the middle of class, just doing something, when Phil, on his phone, just goes up to the class phone, pulls it up, and just says, Hey, yeah, honey? What's going on? Yeah, that's great. Don't worry about it. Can you turn on the hot tub? And so, basically, let's just say things are pretty good for Phil. This guy lived things pretty damn high. He got a pimp mobile, a jacuzzi, special privileges. And so, generally, I consider that things were going all right for him. Now, for this example, I'm going to be giving you a little um, physical example of Phil's life outside of class. Now, this is only barely outside of class. This was during lunch. But this is still technically not class, and we're going to be showing you some Phil behavior that he would engage in. So imagine me and my friend, you know, we're sitting down in the middle of lunch, and nothing much is happening, you know? We're just sitting down, eating our chicken nuggets and chicken sandwiches, chicken-related products, when suddenly Phil comes along. 
you know, just kind of standing around. And he kind of looks, he's about 100 feet away from us, and he's kind of just sitting there, looking at his fingers, you know? He has to constantly look at them. I don't know what he's looking at, but there's something interesting about his fingers. But eventually, I guess he decides to come up over to us. And he comes down, and while we're sitting in the middle of, you know, the open campus, he just straight up sits next to us and starts talking. So he sits down, and he's just like, Hey, is that the, uh, is that the, the, the mystery meat sandwich? And the, what is that? As he points to our lunch and our little chicken nuggets. And eventually he starts, you know, waxing poetic about his life. You know, like, you know, it's like, as a, as an old person, your your skin is really dry. But like, when, when you're young, you have the exact opposite problem. You know, your skin's probably very oily. And then, just as soon as he came, he left. He steadily got up, walked about 10 feet next to us. He goes over to some branches, and he just starts doing this. In the middle of class, he just starts stomping up and down at random ass branches without anyone knowing. And you know, right as this happening, you know, my friend has literally no idea who this guy is. From my friend's point of view, this is literally just a complete stranger who just randomly decided to walk up next to him, talk about how oily his skin was, and then jump on some branches and then he just left. Now let's uh, take this place somewhere else. Well, actually, I also need the, uh, the camera to come over here. Can you come over here? All right, guys, we're back. And uh, now I think we've learned a bit about Phil's life and his uh, interesting passions. We've learned about his loving relationship with his wife. We've learned about his um, religious beliefs. We've learned about his employment and his uh, diet protocol. And we've even learned his relationship with the children. But today, I am going to be showing you an actual video of Phil. Yes, that's right. I got a video of him. Well, not necessarily me. I've actually got a video of him from about... Uh, God, it's got to be around 2006. And you know what? He's going to be showing us a little rap about tofu salad. Let's play the clip. So what kind of a song would a vegetarian come up with? <laughs> He'd come up with a song about tofu salad, all right? It's going to be tight and sick, sick. It's going to be good. My man Jerome, he makes the salad with tofu. It's made with no egg, no cheese, and no chicken, too. We eat tofu. <laughs> <laughs> Tofu salad. All right, well, um, that was my teacher. I mean, he was a bit younger in that image, but yeah, that's him. Could have been a rapper, but yeah, the world doesn't like white rappers, I guess. Anyways, well, I think that's probably going to do it for Phil, the physics teacher. We've seen a bit about his life, and I hope you've enjoyed this. You know, I hope you have learned the importance of rap and children's and the importance of working at McDonald's because it's good for the munchies. And I hope that you guys can, uh, you know, like and subscribe, subscribe to the channel, comment on my videos if you want to see more, if you want to see more videos about Phil or other crazy teachers. Uh, I don't really have too many weird teachers, but I do have another who's, uh, literally insane and i'd say i also got a few other pretty cool student stories so if you guys want to see some stuff about high school then uh like and subscribe but you know till now i'm dodging these vlogs and